I know there's gold here, I just don't know where it is. <laughs> I think that based on the work that we've done, the work that's been done in the past, there is uh, gold anomalies in every sample media, and I find, it, uh, I find it hard to believe that there's not something bigger that's waiting to be discovered here. Of course, I, I have to be hopeful. I'm a geologist. Geologists are always hopeful and optimistic. Right now, we have a number of crews in the field. They're doing soil sampling on pretty detailed spacing grids across all three of our licenses. We have uh, geologists out mapping and sampling the rocks and uh, looking at the alteration, the quartz veining. And we have a prospector who's also going around and uh, looking for mineralization, alteration and sampling the rocks. basically wandering around and the rocks to tell you what you need to know. Basically that's what it comes down to. The, the, like the experience that I've gotten as a prospector and working with the senior prospectors, the guys that are in their 60s and 70 years old now that are still in the business, uh, you get to learn off of them which direction to go and then yeah you follow your instinct. Right? So you even sometimes you get that feeling like you know you're on to something when, before you even see it. By, following the rocks. The rocks teach you. They don't talk to you, but they do in a way. They'll teach you where you need to go. All the work that we've done so far is leading up to the next stage of exploration, which would be drilling. We have uh, a lot of information that is going to be used to target the exact location of those drill holes. It's very important because when you drill, you're drilling a very small diameter and you need to be very confident about the placing of that drill hole in order to see success. We just uh, uncovered this quartz vein, you can see it here. In many cases, the gold, especially in this area, is associated with quartz veins. So when we see quartz veins, that's pretty exciting. So yeah, that would make them extensional. So that works. That's the same as everywhere on your property. This plant just changed this. Yeah. One, two, just one mineral link. occurrences, or go map layers. And you do links? Links. Okay, so that is the, the scale is approximately the same actually. So we're going up there, that's the that's this part here. East. Right. East of that sort of sub-rounded lake. Oh wow. Well, it's all, it looks. But yeah, this, to me, this would be a no-brainer. That you got that <laughs> <laughs> right way, right where we have the maglows coming down to, yeah, right, yeah. It's uh, we're starting to put uh, dots on the map, stars on the map, that's yeah. yeah. good.
this this is the exciting part. This is kind of uh, this is this is what we what we do while we're out here. Thank you.